Today we will see some examples related to applications of graphs. The table shown below shows how much simple interest is received in a year on the amount deposited in a bank. Represent the given information in the form of a graph using appropriate scale. The annual interest paid by the bank depends on the amount deposited in the bank. Therefore, we can say that the amount deposited in the bank is a free or independent variable and simple interest is a dependent variable. Let us draw a graph using the table shown now. First, we draw two perpendicular lines on the graph paper. The horizontal line is x-axis and the vertical line is the y-axis. As if the amount deposited is an independent variable, therefore, we will show the amount deposited on the x-axis. We will take 1 unit equals to rupees 500 for x-axis. Simple interest is a dependent variable, therefore, we will show the simple interest on the y-axis. We take 1 unit equals to rupees 50 for y-axis. It is known from the table that the highest annual simple interest is rupees 250. Therefore, we will end the annual simple interest on the y-axis at rupees 300. Now we will mark the coordinates according to the scale. Annual interest is rupees 50 for the deposited money rupees 500. So we will move one unit to the right on the x-axis and then one unit upwards. Now. At this point, we will mark a point which is coordinate 550. For the deposited money rupees 1000, the annual interest is rupees 100. So, we will move two units to the right on the x axis and then two units upwards. Now, at this place, we will mark a point which is coordinates 1100. Similarly, we will also mark the coordinates. 1500 and 150, 2200 and 2500 and 250. After this, we will join all the points with line segments. We have depicted the amount deposited and the annual simple interest received in the form of this graph. All the line segments in the constructed graph form an unbroken line. Therefore, it is a linear graph. The graph tells us that as the amount of money deposited in the bank is increasing, so also the simple interest has increased. That, that is, this graph shows the two quantities in proportions. Next example, the expenses of one week of Riya's family is rupees 5000, whose division is given in the table shown below. Represent the given information in the form of a graph. In the table shown, the entire expenditure of rupees 5000 is divided into various items. We know that the pie chart compares the different parts of a whole. Therefore, the information given should be shown as a pie chart. To construct a pie chart, we will find the central angle of expenditure on each item. As whole, here is rupees 5000. Therefore, in the pie chart, the angle of 360 degree at the center of the circle will denote rupees 5000. With this understanding, we will find the central angle representing the expenditure on all items. The expenditure on the education of children is 1000 by 5000 of the total. That means 1 by 5 of it. So, its central angle will be 1 by 5 of 360 degree. That means 1 by 5 multiplied by 360 degree which is equal to 72 degree. Similarly, the expenditure on food is 1250. 1250 by 5000 of the total that means 1 by 4 of the total. So, its central angle will be 1 by 4 
multiplied by 360 degree which is equal to 90 degree similarly we will find the central angle for all the items now we will draw the circle graph which means pie chart to draw a pie chart first we will draw a circle using protector we will draw angle aob equals to 72 degree the resulting sector will denote expenditure on children's education similarly we will draw angle boc equals to 90 degree angle cod equals to 36 degree angle doe equals to 90 degree angle eof equals to 18 degree angle foa equals to 54 degree which will denote expenditure respectively on children's education food clothing house rent transport and others thus we have drawn the pie chart today we have seen some examples related to applications of graphs we will see a few more examples in the next video video <laughs>